Government has been working on implementing various policies and strategies to break barriers that have been hindering the growth and development of its local businesses and foreign investors who operate from within the country. This was stated by Senior Minister in the Office of the President with Responsibility for Finance, Dr. Ashni Singh. We are implementing an array of policies aimed at unblocking or removing those historic impediments to growth and competitiveness with the objective, specific objective of ensuring global competitiveness in these respective sectors. He said that for a long time, government has recognized the constraints that are associated with small domestic markets getting their products to other territories, making it difficult for them to become regionally and internationally recognized. As such, the administration has since committed to building and improving infrastructural networks to allow the country to connect with other neighboring territories. The state of the infrastructure does not currently allow, so you have to take a ferry to go across the Quarantine River to Suriname. And the road to Brazil is not entirely a paved road, so you typically would need a vehicle that can withstand laterite roads, which in, particularly in the rainy season can be a little bit challenging. But we have committed to completing the bridge across the Quarantine River to the east. And we've committed to completing the road to Brazil in the south. Because we believe that every producer of goods and services in Guyana must be able seamlessly not only to sell their goods and services to Suriname and to northern Brazil, but also to buy their inputs. He said that improving the country's connectivity is also aimed at increasing the economic space in which Guyanese producers are operating. Furthermore, Minister Singh added that they are working with CARICOM to address the maritime transport challenges in the Caribbean Sea. 